This conference so will now be recorded. So that step is not a new Okay. So it was already in a practice. Means uh, it was named before like stream scrapping, data mining, web harvesting, etc. So you can refer web scrapping as a port. And coming to its definition, web scrapping is a practice of gathering data through any means other than using APIs or using user -driven manual. Okay. You are also seeing that why we should do web scrapping. I have listed three reasons. Then before, uh, nextly we have seen some real life applications of web scrapping. What are the basic essential part of web scrapping? Then few libraries. And also we have seen why we are using beautiful soup and that all thing. And also we have learned something about part Python virtual environment. Okay, something about installations and so on. And lastly, we have been with three code, basic code using beautiful soap. So in today's session, I will be introducing you. I will be at least make you that capable that you will start doing web scrapping and you will enjoy that, believe me. Okay, so let's get started. So what we are going to see today, we are going to see Selenium, few more important things, and lastly, we are going to build web scrapper using Selenium library, okay? So what is Selenium? Before uh, coming, uh, before the Selenium library was made, Selenium was made as a develop. Uh, in, uh, it was a tool, okay, for web testing, and uh, it works by automating browsers to load the website, retrieve the data, and sometimes even take screenshots. So it do not contain its own web browser. Okay, so it had to depend on a third party web browser like Chrome, Firefox, and so on. Okay, so next. So, Selenium with Python. So, I have, as I have mentioned earlier, Selenium is a library in Python. So, let's look into details. Selenium is used to automate web browser interaction from Python. This line you will understand when. We will code, okay? You will understand each and every line one by one. Selenium Python bindings provide a simple API to write functional accepted tests using Selenium web drivers. So before that, what is web drivers? See, web driver is a, like a brand. And it can load websites, do actions to drive web scrapers, and so on. It can also be used like a beautiful support object to find page elements. Like you can say, it can interact with elements on page, like set tabs, click, etc. So, what are the Selenium web drivers? As I have mentioned before, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, and Phantom JS. Why only this? Because Selenium has provided support recently for only this four to five web drivers. Okay. You, if you want any information about this then you can go on Selenium documentations, okay? Next, a little bit about installation, like yesterday. So if you are using Python 2 point something, then you need to install PIP because PIP is a third party installer. And if you are using Python 3.6 and onwards, then it's just easy to direct, write a command PIP install Selenium, okay? And uh, because uh, Selenium is not a standard library, okay, you need to install it. Next, you need to also install web drivers. Like I said, web drivers like Chrome, Firefox. I have mentioned these only two because these are common. These web browsers are available with you, right? You are using it more frequently. So, but uh, again, if you want, you want, if you want to use Edge or Safari, you can go in, on to Selenium documentation. So these are some few, you can say, not few, actually uh, all of them, functions which are, we are going to use while coding. So you can see here, there are three, four, five, eight. There are eight of them. This eight of them are used to retrieve only single 
single list a single you can say single uh, line or something i uh, will say we will get to know about in the code and uh, these are used to retrieve multiple elements okay that the most there is no difference if you can compare the line this parallel if you can compare the line there is only a difference of the element s and s see here there is only element here only element here and here element s is extra so this is the main difference and uh, talking about this you know id is always unique right if you work with the you have yeah, worked within the database or something then you know that id is always unique right it is like id key something so this is unique because there will be only one element of id right of uh, so next here we are let's start coding yesterday we didn't get much time to code so i thought we will start coding today in this session very fast because i have to complete the session at 10:50 so that we can have q and a sessions okay so let's start coding without wasting any time okay so for coding i am using vs code you can use any code editor any means text editor whatever you like your favorite one okay so here we are going to start coding first of all we need to import selenium right so how we are going to import selenium i have already created the uh, we first we will save it so that we can access the python function so i am saving it inside the web seminar yesterday i made a mistake while setting the path so i am doing it clearly here we will have right um Yeah, and yeah. So what we are going to build today? You know, actually there are many web means many application like we have seen yesterday. We can make so many things, but uh, today I have thought that let's make it some interesting or like uh, let's making it a little bit uh, funny. And uh, we will uh, we are going to make a music player today, and uh, I will preferably use Geo Seven for extracting. So you will see how amazing it is. to to see that how thing is getting automated we will see the power of selenium okay so i for now i am not writing a music player i'm just writing uh, because i have already a file for player dot music player so is for a keyboard i'm saying it first thing we need is we need to import Okay. Before that, I have told you, right? Uh, you need uh, Python in your uh, desktop, and also you also need Selenium to be inst installed. Okay. So I have already installed this. Okay. So I need for installing. I need this command. Yeah, typing is very much. Okay. So from so Selenium, I'm going to import web drivers. Why web drivers? I told you, Selenium is an intermediate between web drivers and our program. So, with the help of Selenium, we are going to import web driver. And then, first, I will show you how to get the website, how to automatically open the website. So, this I will like this. I will just because I have imported, so I will write driver. Oh, sorry. Python indentation is very important. Travel dot. I will say get, and then the URL. Okay. Oh, sorry. I have, before that, the main thing I forgot to tell you is this line. This line is very important. What is this? I will tell you. So this. So this is the web driver. I told you that. Along with Selenium, you also need to install web drivers. I'm using here Chrome browser, so I have used this Chrome. Okay, I have downloaded the Chrome browser here. If you want, let, let me show you how it happens. See, uh, let me take you to the page first, and I will show you this. Right, I will just copy it. Okay, and I will paste it. 
okay and you see this right so what is this you need to install your web driver from here download the suitable have you understand that what is the suitable just go here to settings and go to about from go to about from here and you can see this thing this thing so we are using version 80 81.03 so we need to install this version we need to download this version of chrome drive okay so this was i was going to show you if you are using firefox then also i have given your link or any you can go on the documentation obviously okay back to the code so this is where i have kept my web driver okay this is the path where i have kept my web driver you need to write this executable path and then after that i can use the driver so driver dot get and i will take the url of geo seven okay let's just open that geo seven dot com my internet is pretty slow sorry for that i will just copy this link and i will paste to it here within seven okay so let's save it and let's run this thing what is the name of the program python for running python program you need to write python player dot okay. let's see what happens you can see it is automated you didn't require to open this wow right so next thing is okay uh, i can browse i can test here also or i will open a geo7 on the other website what we will do is we will try to open this to open this quickly top socks okay for that thing we need to inspect the page so i will right click on it i will say inspect and then i need to search this right for searching this element where it is within this html document what i will do i will select this icon and go on this why not you say okay, okay let me see let me do this also for you so i will just say you will say that let's try to click this why this okay i will show you what's the problem here so i will click on this so where it is it is somewhere here right mm -hmm. okay let's try to i will copy its next part from here okay so i will write what i have done is i have right clicked on this i have copied and i have just clicked on this copy okay so the path is copy if you want to know that path is unique or not you need to press control open this box this text box where you can paste it and you can see that there is only one result it means this is unique text part so you can use it okay so i'm going to use it but how after going to this one this line number four will show us that of a geo server is open so what will be the next step so here i will write driver dot find element like i said these are the few functions which are very important for us because it is a unique element we can use just find element okay and what we have used x bar so i am writing your find element by x bar and pasting our x bar here so i also want to know that is it fetching correct Or not, so I will store it within a variable. So whatever will be the uh, it has stored, it will be stored in the list. Okay, so I will write like uh, some temporary variable. Okay, I will say what is it? Play all right. I will name it play all. It is just a variable. Okay, like I said in Python, we need do not require to define a variable. You can just use it when it's required. So it already know by default a string is stored, but here this returns a list. 
Okay, so it becomes a list automatically. So let's see, and I will print this. Print the font. And let's see what our browser is going to do. So see, I have not closed this browser. So uh, wait a minute. If I want to close this browser, then before going before going to this, I would like to tell you how to close the browser. For closing the browser, we are going to do driver dot close. So let's run it once again. Okay. Uh, what's the problem? Oh, it's running. My internet, my internet is a bit slow. Sorry for that. So you can see after opening it, it's still running, right? Yeah, it is closed. Okay. See here, there is no web browser here. You can see in my taskbar, there is no web browser here. Okay. So here it is. Now I don't want to close it. I want to work on this. So I will just erase this line. So let's play with this line now. Save it and again run. I want to see how the okay. So it's running. I want to see here that is it giving me some output? In the terminal, okay. Let's see. Yeah, you can see this line, right? This line it is giving me some output, means there exists some element. So, but I don't want this, okay? I want to, I want to play this song. So, how I'm going to play? So, first of all, I will. Let us see that if I click on this, where I will be taken. Okay, I'm taking to this page. This page, okay. But if I click it back, if I go back, it doesn't show me anything. Why? Because the, this is redirection. Okay, we will do it once again. Okay, we'll do it here. They all have them. And So it's taking if I go back. See, if I go back, it is just uh, I, I am exiting to a server. So I can't do that. I want sometime I need to go back, right? So again, I need to touch you, server. And what I will do is rather than just playing and clicking on this button, I will just go on this website first. I want to do this. So I will rather. Now you actually that use the attribute function. I will get that from this a tag. I want to get. Let's see. Let's let us inspect the element here. I'm inspecting here. This element. So I will show you one more thing. That even if you are clicking on this, you are still getting on the website. So you need to find the possibilities of if it, if one thing is not working, there should be another thing around. Okay, it's still mm -hmm. taking me there. right? But I don't want this. I want to get this. I can click on it, but I want to show you how the attribute can be extracted. So what I will do is this is always a problem. Just go back, right? This is not good. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I will extract this element. I want to extract this extract. Oh man, this is so much. I do one thing, best thing. I will, I will automate. Obviously, I have made something. I will automate this thing. Why do it manually again and again, right? This, the speed of the web scraper depends upon the speed of your internet. You just keep it that in mind. So here, I'm just I just want to extract the link from it. And nothing, no clicking, nothing. I just want to extract the link. <coughs> so where it is?
Okay, so here it is the link. Okay, so I will again copy the X path. I will paste it here. Okay. Now what I will do? I will extract the X path by writing play all. I still dot get attribute and what is the attribute here? Extra, right? And I will store it inside. I will give a name as link and I will store it inside this. So, and I will print it. So, I want to show you that how we can get an attribute. So, I will print the link. Okay, I will save it and again run this. So let's see the automatic. Okay, okay, it's working. And I really feel very excited. You know, this automation thing is like wow. Okay, I want to see the output here. So, so this way you have to go step by step. Okay, if you see some tutorial or something, they will uh, so many lines, you get confused. Go step by step. I will refer, I will suggest you that. Okay. 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 Why? Why there is a problem? Because I have kept this in quotation mark. I want to print whatever is in the link. If I'm going slow, then please tell me. I can fast it also. But um, Kit told me that I should go slow so that everyone can understand. Okay. So yeah, you can see this this link, right? Exactly. Now I have extracted. See you. That was the attribute. I have extracted that. And what I want to do is I want to again go on that link. Okay, it is kind of back crawling. Okay. So what I will do is I will do driver dot get, and I will send link inside it and save it. And now you see we are one step further. So what will happen? It will automatically go on that link now. See, right? Now, now next thing, I want to play. I want to click on this button. So how I'm going to do this? I will again inspect on this because I'm making it right. I need to inspect it frequently. Once I'm done with this, no need for doing this. So this is one time installment. So I will just see where it's this button. Okay, great. This button is here. And yeah, this is click event. You can see this on click event. See this. This is a non click event. So I can click on this. I will show you one thing. So I will, what I will do is I can do two things. I can go use file element by class or I can go by X button. Let me tell you. Let us do both of them. I will copy XPath here. XPath is quite easy, but there can be some problem if uh, it is a dynamic website, right? So there, there will be some structural changes sometime. If the website is updated or something, then XPath may or may not be helpful. So better go by using using ID or something. Okay, I will show you that also. Okay, I have, I have got. The next step of mine will be to. Okay, I have not closed the web browser, so there are so many web browser in my test bar. I will close those all. I will close this. And again, that what I want to and here, driver is driver dot link to find element with X path. And I will paste the X path, we, and then it will, I will click on this button. Okay, for clicking on this button, I will write dot 
and save it. Is it clear now? Someone has said that my voice is not clear. Reply. Someone's. Is it clear? Please say my voice is not clear. Okay, it should play. It should automatically click on the page. Okay. Fine. Actually, can you hear this? Can you hear the song? You people, can you hear the song? Oh, great. I will pause it for some video. Okay, thanks for that. Actually, I have some internet issues. Sorry for that, but I will try my best. Okay. No song audio. Uh, this uh, you can't hear that. See here that uh, this is a, uh, okay. I, I we will run this one more time. Okay, we will run it one more time. No, no issue. Yes. There, there will be some error. Don't mind it right now. To get out and con pressing Control C, I'm again playing it. Okay. Just see that the, that button is clicked, and at the end of this web page, you will see that uh, that song is getting played. You have used Geo Sound, right? Before, so you can understand if it is getting played or not. Now, uh, see, just, just look carefully here. See, it is uh, here the buttons are disabled, and right now the button got started, right? See here uh, that uh, we, it will play again the full song here. Yeah, can you see that, people? Can you see this? Just write yes or no. Why and whatever. It should be interactive session a little bit. Yeah, good. So I'm pausing it. So it has played the song. You have seen that automatically you have made something that is playing the song. Now what I want to do nextly is, uh, okay, this was, and uh, as usual, the GeoSound would automatically play the next song also. That is no issue now. Because we have played here, you have clicked on this button, so it will play it. Now, next thing I want to do here is, I'll show you, and I will just store it in one function because uh, I want to do the next task. Okay. So what should be my next task here? So what should be our next task? What is this? Okay, let's uh, do it manually first. Okay. Now you can say I am writing. Um, uh, let's say. Uh, on the, okay, okay. We will search the song with the help of the artist name. I like Taylor Swift song, so I will. And Taylor Swift, but you can see the point button, bit button. How can I use the click here, right? So I will. I have to press an enter key for this. See, after pressing an enter key, it is running the same. Right? It is going in that. So how I'm going to send enter key? I will let us do that also. So what I want to go do is I will just side. So I'm defining the function button. Do this. What do you have? We have played some weekly songs, weekly top songs. And I will just give an advantage. Okay, so we will call it whenever it works. Now we are going to write a new function here. The function's name is you can say call search by you can say search, okay, search by artist name. I will say search by artist. You can also try. You, you have to try actually. I'm not going to show you. Search this song and play it. But I will, I'm going to show you a little bit advanced of that. 
Okay, so I will just close this window. Okay, now see so this. I'm going to call it by that is name. And what I will do first thing is I need to inspect the element, right? So where is this search? It's just not good enough. I every time have to go there. Rather, I will use this thing. Okay. I don't want this wiki, so I'm closing it. So here, I want to inspect this element. I have to input something. So how I'm going to input something? Yes, it's what we can inspect this, and then this, and then we can see here. This is an input class, right? I have to input something in this. So how I'm going to input? So is there any ID? I will search. See, there is an ID called search, right? I will use this ID. Let's try. Let's see. The ID is unique or not. For this purpose, I will click on this and you can see I have with the double click that search is it has given me an option to copy these easily. I will do control F so that this is done and I will search. Oh no, search is not unique. But ID should be unique. So as you can see that ID is always unique. This is something other. Only one one ID. See, ID is only one. So we will find the element with the help of ID. Let us try. Is it including me something? So first of all, I will just ever dot find element with by ID. So I will paste the ID here. Okay, and uh, after I will catch it within a variable. Okay, let's say search. Search in. And here, inside the search window, what are you going to do is we are going to send something, right? We need to input something. So how I'm going to input something? Let us, I, let me define a variable. My artist name is take a Taylor Swift. Okay, Taylor Swift, and then here I will. I'm going to pass this. I want to write this. So how I'm going to do this? I have done this. Okay, this is the thing we need to do. I we need to send the keys. This is one type of function to send the keys. So what are you going to do is I'll paste, and I want to send. What keys I want to send name, name to it. But before that, I have to tell that it should be done by the driver. So send keys and name. Now let's see what happens. But before that, don't forget to call the function. So what's our function name? Search by artist. So I'm calling function here. So that function will be executed. And I'm just closing this. So it isn't required. Okay. So because I have not manually closed, uh, I have not written a program to drive out or close. So this would be yeah, every time we have to do control C here. Data will handle this problem also. So here we are, it's getting automated. Wow. Just see, I'm not doing anything like, and it's getting automated by itself. Python code is running behind. See, this is my Python code is running behind, and this driver is not. Oh, oh, sorry. There should be some problem. It's going on the weekly website. Why is it so? Let's see. I have called. Okay. 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 Clear. I must have not saved it. You know. What happened? I didn't save it. So I need to save it first and I will run it again. And let's see if it is one more time. Okay. There are much more things to do. You like you, I will tell you that is uh, if you want to create, you want to get an example of to do this. Uh, create a music player then you can use real python that is one i have given that link also in the end of this session if you want that you can so have it inputted there should be some error 
if you okay okay what is the error send keys okay object has no attribute send keys okay so have uh, why then what is a mistake here let's see mm -hmm. send keys okay so you see it didn't search it with the help of id so let's try something else we will do we will take x path of this no matter there are, I, as i have already said that there is always a solution behind it, beside you you just need to find out if there is error in one take the other one so this is the beauty of selenium okay you have so many options to explore no need to worry at all so i will do this i will find with the help of x path here x path and we are unpasting it okay now let's see is it sending the keys now i'm saving it and again running it the maximum error you get the maximum you will learn. keep that in mind spoon feeding will be nowhere So, you know, these you people are okay. Ankit told me that I should also show you that the tool which was created by me. No problem, but it requires an internet. Still, there is some problem here. No matter, we install it. It's still telling that no attribute has sent keys. Why is that so? Okay. Please to search and sending it. Mm -hmm. Maybe in order or something. Let me check it. Give me some time for it. Um, I will just so that we don't waste our time. I will just copy paste from there. We we'll just use these things. Copy and it should work fine. It's still showing some error. Why is it showing error? No problem. We'll do some other thing. If your internet speed is running fast, now just use that utility. Yeah, we are like I have an issue of internet also. Then also I'm trying my best to. It should do this work for me. If it doesn't, then no, I think it's on keys. Oh wow, it worked. See, it worked. Okay, okay. I will show you one more time. We will we will know so one more time. Let's see. We will try it one more time here and let's see how this automation is happening. I am feeling a bit excited. You know, this automotive thing is really you don't get excited. Once you have this, just start it. Just start it. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, see, it's already input, right? Wow, it's already input, and it is all it also has clicked enter. How it is? I will show you what is the code behind to do the enter. Okay. Let me take you, let me show you the code. So this thing, this line, see, after placing the name, after placing this, I have, what I have done is I have sent this code. You know, this code, this is to send the enter key, to send enter from the keyboard. This is the code. 
okay so selenium also gives this option to us that if you want some keyboard input or something you can do it from here okay that's good now what i want to do my next step should be i want to play this song i want to play her so i want to play here this has same if you want close on this choose this or this they will do the same job you want to see this choose this so it has played the song whether i will choose this it will take me to her radio it will take me to our radio and then i can just start a radio so radio is a better option right so what i will do is i will just inspect here also i will inspect the element i will go on this i will go on this so where it is so this is also on click event so it is clickable i will take i will copy its x path here and okay so i will driver dot find element by x path and then i'm passing the x path here and after passing the x path see the x path is too long dot click event and okay i will save it and let's see what happens i will just run the code again and it should be able to play the song lovers okay it should just take us to that side means after that and then it is starting uh, what i will do here is i will go on the website play the radio see the thing is automated getting automated mm -hmm. see enter key is pressed and then it should click on this see it has clicked and it has taken me to that page okay now again i can inspect this thing okay i will be fast because we have just eight minute and then we have we need to to any session so i need to inspect this radio so i'm taking this i'm inspecting this okay this is also applicable event so i will copy its x path and i will use this x path here so what i will do is option here okay Trava dot find element by x path and paste and i want to click on this event so dot click okay now it should play the song it should play the radio for us now i'm running it again so this will be also again one i think this is this was also just a kick start to our selenium but if you want more interesting type of lectures, then we can keep it uh, later later on. I think after this session, you should be able to start something of your own, web scraping of your own. I should try. That is how you find it amazing, you know. Okay, it has been. Uh, not doing nothing. My mouse pointer is here. It's doing it automatically. It is take me to the carrot song and then it will click on start there you go so in webscraping, you may find many errors. Okay, there was no X path. Okay, for saving time, again, I'm using this thing. I don't want to use it, but if I just solve the error here, then it won't even go nowhere. So I will just copy this thing. It's the same line, just maybe somewhere I have made have may have made a mistake. So so an error. I don't get demotivated. So 
error will come but don't get mad okay you just want to tell you that thing because web strapping because one time investment as i told you the tutorial you see on youtube and all that they have already solved the error and they are showing you where while doing those people tutorials you may encounter the error maybe they have already resolved and you are like stuck what to do next then in this way maybe i found it the best way to tell you that well if error occurring it's very good cause it's still not starting okay no problem uh, we have very limited time i will just um, i will show you what i have made yesterday i just made this yesterday for you to to show what i will do so i want to show you what i made i will just ask this you can do much more from this okay i will ask from user okay i will ask the user what what you want to play which artists you want to play so python i oh, sorry i will clear this thing so you can see it clearly okay i will make it a big and then i will say python we are running out of time so I've shown you how to do this, right? Yeah, yes. So it is asking me for the artist name. So I will say I will take another like I like Camilla also. Camilla Blow. Okay. So let's do it. So you can see you can see the automation. You could you will create this type of this. Okay. So see there. See, it has written Camilla Cablo. It has pressed enter. It went on that website. Okay. And then it clicked on that. And also, it click started the radio. You can see here the radio is starting. You can see this stop stop radio option here down. This here it started the audio right now. Can you see this moving? I'm not going to pause it. It will be. I'm just muting it. And what I've made is after some time. You can also do it. You can, uh, if you means you say that I want to hear the song for one hour or something, just pass the variable there. I will show you where to pass the variable and everything. That you should pass the variable. And uh, after that time, window will be closed after some time. I have kept, I think, one minute there. Let's see what minute I have kept there. For showing you purpose. See, can you see this after six? Second, it will stop the browser after 60 seconds. See the background. Okay, 50 60 seconds were over. So he has stopped the web run and we are out of great. Right? So this way you can make your own music player, you can make uh, so many things using web stepping just Google out what are the real life applications and all of things. And you can do much more. Just the thing is you need to take an initiative. Okay. So what I've done here is like uh, I have shown you weekly top songs and search for the artists. We have done this and uh, stop the browser. So this is nothing but time dot slip. You can see this line here. Time dot slip. It will just what is this? It will hold that web page without doing any action for that particular amount of time. And what I have passed here is 60 so that I want to show you right. It is a demo lecture. So here it will pass 60 seconds here. okay so after 60 seconds the driver dot close print means it will close the website means close our driver okay now next it was like a play radio button so i have already showed you how find that what error will come don't be afraid of those errors don't be never if you means like if you have an error then like you are not a programmer Okay, you are a good programmer and don't ever get spoon feeding. Just do on your own. I would suggest you because Python have a very good community, very large community. You can take 
at any time. Okay. And uh, here is this is how you can. So it was also some introduction to Python, also, I guess. You have learned a little bit about Python, you have learned about Selenium, and also you have learned about Beautiful Soup. And yesterday, there was a session on Beautiful Soup. And now, what I want to show you is oh, okay, there are also something like uh, this, like you see in here, there was a pop up, right? Like some pop up, how to deal with that pop up. That is a little bit advanced concept. And if you want any information about that, then you can point at documentation pages and you will get everything you want. Or there are lots and lots of blogs from towards data science. And that is also very good. And uh, fine, I will just close this. And so these are some useful links. Okay, I will just. Okay, these are some useful link here where uh, you can find these are the drivers I told you this is the selenium documentation website and this is a website we can use you can make your own music player a little bit more functions about that what you can do and, and uh, that is it that is it and if you want to contact me if you have any query about it then you can contact me here on the LinkedIn and github if you want to go and uh, Next thing is okay, so let's see. So, if you have any questions, I would suggest to first Ankit that uh, please unmute others' audio and so that they could ask any questions. If you have any questions about my today's seminar, then I could, if I could help you in some way, then you can obviously personally contact me on this LinkedIn, you can message me on this thing. But right now, if there was some, uh, you need to require some, there was some like question about, please ask. Feel free to ask. Thank you. Okay, that's a very good question. So, Satbir Singh asked me that how much time will it take me to learn web strapping? How to study the okay i will tell you that uh, initially it would be like tiring you can it will take you two days or three days to because understanding first one thing is you need to understand python okay if you want to take your first step and yesterday i told you why to use python why i have preferred python for using because it is easy to code and it's very uh it's just very expressive okay so that uh, that's for the reason and also you will find a lots of reason to use python also and the next thing you need you need to be good with python not good with at least you should have some basic knowledge about python the next step is go take a blog just take a blog or like i have given this description you can see this okay i will show you okay this is also this third this line this link is very good for learning actually real world is a website okay go on that you will learn so many there are so many examples they have written so much thing and for the like the newbies like us so you will you can get help from them and uh, after getting you are if you are confident with them then uh, start it start uh, thing like you um, like job search you want to scrap a job search like if you want to be a developer or something and you are searching for job then build your own scrapper to find the job from the websites like the knockfree.com and monster.com and whatever you prefer LinkedIn also you can take so that would be good and uh, uh, there is one more thing so is it okay Sadhbir Singh are you clear what I what are the steps just tell me okay next this is a question from Hemnat Hemu he said that I want to learn automation from in which platform I can achieve effective learning as I say okay see there are four libraries most common in Python, okay, for web scrapping. They are, uh, you say, Pandas, Scrappy, Selenium, and Beautiful Soap. Beautiful Soap is a static web, uh, it works with static pages, okay? Means you have to, uh, like Wikipedia pages, they are static pages. You are, if you want to scrap the data from that, then you can use that. Uh, otherwise, Selenium is much more faster to deal with. Uh, at once, Beautiful Soup can take eight lines to write the code. At the same time, Selenium can do within three or four lines. So I would say that uh, Selenium is very good. So there are many tutorials available. 
I would uh, say if you have want to learn also, you can ping me on LinkedIn. I will uh, personally send you that. And uh, okay, so they want me to show my tool, what I have made recently. I helped my brother in making a tool. He wanted a tool from me. So uh, I was a beginner, okay, when I was doing that. So, I will show you. Wait a minute. Yes, <laughs> But Please, I will show you what I have. So this is my tools. It will run Strapi in the back, in the background. That is run yet. Okay, that is running. So it is asking me to URL. Okay, I, I will keep it a full screen. Okay. So okay, this is like uh, if I have to say. Uh -oh. okay, this is going to be slash dot com slash So this is how the automation will happen. Let's see. And we're going to open the way back much. So this is depends upon internet speed. Okay, my internet speed is a bit slow. So for that, actually, that means at morning at least say, the speed is a little bit good, but at night I don't have any speed in this area. Bandwidth is wow, this internet is really not good. See this automatically that thing is typed and then auto. I'm not doing anything. My mouse pointer is here. And I'm not doing, I will keep this mouse pointer here and it's automatically doing this job. So it's going on the next page. 
So automatically it will click here. This March, it will click on March. Okay, it is getting the TXT file. And along with this, it will also say file. This is working, okay? I'm not closing it, I'm just minimizing it. It will work on its own. Say it's working already. I will just close this. And I will show you. So it will store the link where I have kept this. I've stored the link in link1.txt. So this was the first link it visited. And link2.txt, it will means it will simultaneously store the links where it has visited and also at the end of the session it will run for a long time because it is going to scrap around 4835 captures okay so it will run it will run one by one. okay i will not tell much about this uh, tool to you but uh, you can see you can make this amazing thing by your own I would say you that uh, tell me why it is running. Just tell me what you can make. Just real life. What do you think you can make with that of Python, Pinsir, Web Stepper? Please uh, write in chat. What What do you think? Real world thing. Simultaneously, it is storing here also. Okay. So I have done this. That scrapping is in progress. You have to go and have a copy. Okay, play my watch later videos of YouTube. Who's this? Um, Tiwari. You can run the side in the loop like this, and you can do much more. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm just closing it. Fine. So, any more questions? Oh, wow. Wow. That's that's great. That's great. Sorry, sorry. I misunderstood you. Wow. Play my watch later videos of you. Just very good. That is a good. You are going in good. <laughs> you are great. Anyone else? Okay, that was really good. Okay. Sorry for that. I was focused on this, but my sorry, sorry for that. Uh, thank you. And uh, okay, so no questions. So this is my contact information, like I said, and Thank you. If you have any questions yet. Okay, do you have any questions? If no, then. Okay, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, Sachin and Ankit, means giving, providing me this platform. And uh, I hope this session was useful for you. I would really thank Sachin for this also. Sachin and Ankit. And Ankit is a very good mentor. Means like he's always ready to help me anytime. And uh, thank you. I would just give uh, the further to Ankit. If you have anything to tell, then please tell. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you, Kruti. First of all, for sharing such a valuable information thank and knowledge you, with Please, Ankit, uh, uh, take the further mm -hmm. session. Yeah, so uh, today we have another session in which uh, Krishna is going to share a lot of about critical thinking and uh, how uh, we, sh we can develop our leadership skills. So this session, uh, uh, you will get a link for that, uh, that session too. And uh, again, once again, thank, uh, thank you all of you for joining and all those who are still uh, part of this community and uh, now i'm going to end this uh, webinar and also those who have missed this webinar will get a uh, a link to watch it uh, if they want to uh, want uh, it uh, it again to watch okay 
and uh, about code and uh, ppt and all documentation so all this documentation will be uploaded on mahaviki's github uh, repository so uh, from there you can download uh, these codes uh, whatever demo code uh, kruti had shown to you and also the code and uh, webinar links of uh, previous uh, webinars uh, so uh, as well as guys please share your uh, email id and share feedback so that we will uh, share your certificates on that uh, emails thank you so much Thank you. So I'm going to end this uh, webinar. Uh, thank you for joining.